Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about a parsing technique called yearly parser. Yearly parser is a clever hybrid bottom up as well as top down approach. Bottom up parsing is completely guided by top down predictions in this case. So in yearly parser, what we do is we maintain sets of dotted grammar rules that reflect what the parser has seen so far as well as it explicitly predicts the rules and constituents that will combine into a complete part. Yearly parser is similar to chart parsing. A partial analysis can also be shared here. The time complexity of yearly parser if we talk about is, is big is big O of n cube but it is good on fixed set of subclasses. Yearly parser was developed prior to chart parsing and it was the first efficient parsing algorithm for general context free grammars. We'll try to understand yearly parser more with an example here. Suppose we have a grammar. Let's say example. Suppose we have a grammar. S can be NPVP. NP can be article N. NP can be article adjective N. VP can be v small v and vp can be v and p suppose we have these set of grammar rules <coughs> also uh, in addition to we have some lexicon rules here adjective can be old noun can be man and verb can be cried so these are the set of rules that we have and the sentence we need to, we need to parse is the old man cried so how would we do this first of all what we need to do is we need to break this down individual tokens back to its lexicon form so the is basically my article old is adjective as per my grammar rule that I've mentioned here man is noun and cried is verb so my total input sequence in the parts that I'm going to use is article adjective noun and verb okay so let's start with state 0 let me say I'm in state 0 what happens in state 0 is uh, we define a set of rules here that are applicable to this state always begin with this rule s dash gives dos dot s dollar dollar basically means the end of your uh, sequence another thing which you need to remember here is there are three basic process that you need to follow the first one is okay i'll write it here scalar the other is predictor and the other is completer completer okay so what happens is scanner you basically scan the input token when needed that's what scanner is what happens in predictor suppose let's say you have a set of rules let's say s gives dot npvp now if you are in this condition what you do in case of predictor is if you have a dot here what you need to do is you also need to expand the production rule of the next token that you have here so you basically have np here so you also need to elaborate np gives dot article n and np gives dot article adjective and n suppose you had this token not here but let's say uh, you had this dot token uh, somewhere else let's say here then the predictor process says that you need to elaborate the next token uh, rules that you have uh, given in your gram rule so suppose if the dot was before vp what you needed to do here was vp gives dot v and vp gives v and p dot v and p okay so that's what predictor is now what is completer completer is uh, just like predictor you need to follow the follow the dot as well as your uh, rules here so let's say you were in this following rule uh, let's say you had s gives 
np dot vp at some state and then you had vp gives v v dot at some state which means uh, the particular rule for vp is now complete and what you need to do here is you also need to write another production rule moving your dot just backwards because uh, dot vp is already converted to v dot so what you need to do is you need to change this rule to this rule which is basically your completer so these are the three steps that you need to do now we'll uh, follow these three steps and then continue with our work below so in state zero what you had was s dash equals to dot s dot s dollar comma zero these are just the states that i'm denoting now since you have a dot here and 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 this s token here you can elaborate uh, you you have rules to elaborate this s you have you have production rules that can be elaborated associated with, with this s so what you also need to do is you need to uh, follow the predictor step and then do s gives dot np vp again we have another token np here which is just before the dot so again what you need to do is you again need to follow the predictor step which gives np gives dot article adjective n zero now we have one more rule associated with np so np gives uh, dot article noun and zero okay so these zero are just the steps just the states that i'm noting here now let's go to state one now what happens in state one is we basically uh, carry on with the scanner step that means scan this first token here we need to scan this article here so basically we need to take out any rules that satisfies this article here so if you see here you have a dot across here if you scan this article well this rule is applicable you also have this rule here with the dot in the beginning if you scan your article again this rule is also applicable so 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 in state one what you do you take these two rules and then write it down below so np gives since you have already scanned the article the dot moves now from the beginning uh, after the article adjective n again this is from state zero and you have another rule np gives article dot n and zero okay so we have no predictor step here because these cannot be further broken down so what we need to do we need to scan another token here so another so another token is an adjective now from state one which of these rules which of these two rules supports an adjective well the first one does right so we go to state two state two and we take the first production rule np gives article again adjective is also scanned and now the dot moves back of adjective and again this rule is derived from zero now now what happens we again need to scan another token which is a noun from state two we we only have one rule that supports a noun so what we can do is we go to state three and state three we take this np gives article adjective noun and dot and zero now what you can see here is this rule is complete so you basically need to use the completer step and then and then if you see this rule originated from this one this rule originated from state one and state one originated from this third rule that we have np gives dot article adjective n which is now complete and this np and this third rule originated from this second rule here which gives s gives dot np bp so here what we need to do is s3 add one more production rule here which is s gives np is now complete so np dot vp comma zero now what we have here we again need to carry out our completer step here sorry predictor step here and then write down the rules associated with vp so uh, vp gives one rule is only v and then other is v dot np so we first write v now this 
rule is elaborated in state 3 so i write so i write state 3 here and the other rule is vp gives dot v and p and 3 okay so now we only have our last token that we can read read out here which is v so if we read out v from state 3 basically there are two rules that supports v here so we take both of these rules to state 4 now state 4 gives you vp gives v dot 3 now for this case the rule is actually complete uh, we don't have any more tokens to scan so we basically ignored this last rule here so what we do is uh, now we perform a computer step which gives s gives np vp dot which is from state 0 and now since the s rule is also complete we can move ahead and then uh, and then carry out or rewrite this first rule here so s dash gives s dot dollar and zero so basically this gives that our complete sentence s has been already parsed and then we have reached our end of token sequence which is our final answer so now if we want to draw a parse tree we basically need to follow follow these steps where did we start from we started from s so we started from s which led to np and vp sorry yeah so vp and then uh, and then in state one what would what did we do state one state two state three we basically elaborated np to article adjective and n and after that in state three what we did was we elaborated bp to v and from this one we can write our old sequence that we have the old man cried okay so this is how you uh, perform or parse uh, your given sequence using a given grammar using yearly algorithm you basically need to remember these three processes that you have here scanner predictor and completer okay if you have any confusion do comment down below and i'll try to help you out or else i'll see you in the next video thank you